Okay, let's move over quickly to our next story, a very right. interesting one. The federal government to limit number of children per mother. I should have had my children a few years ago. You should have. The federal government on Tuesday declared that it was working hard to come out with a policy that would limit the number of children that a mother could have in Nigeria. It stated that the traditional rulers and other leaders across the country were being engaged as regards this adding that the move was aimed at addressing one of the great challenges in the economic recovery and growth plan of the federal government. The Minister of Finance, Inab Ahmed, who disclosed this while responding to questions during a session at the 24th Nigerian Economic Summit in Abuja, noted that the country's population had been identified as one of the greatest challenges confronting the success successful implementation of the ERGP. So we're seeing this. Well, uh, is this really the way out? Now, we know that there have been several... Um, there have been several predictions with regards to our population yeah. and how it will spira spiral out of control and that yeah. by 2050 would be probably one of the third largest economies in the world. Population no, in the population, world, yeah. not economies. Yeah. So really, is this the first way to nip it in the bud? I think, you know, in terms of having a discussion about it, you definitely have to have some kind of political consciousness about it. And I'll throw some numbers at you in terms of the population. You know, the, it's a myth to say that our population is a strength. It's actually not. Your population is, act, is only a strength whereby if you have a strong workforce or if you have infrastructure in order to take up, you know, the people that are coming through. Um, you don't have a good education system. You don't have an, an excellent, you don't have an excellent health care system. You don't have strong job numbers, you know. Um, so when you say population, you don't have a, you don't have a non-existent middle class, you know. Um, so when you say population is a strength, it's not because the people that are living below the poverty level is about, what, 90 million? I'll throw some other numbers at you, right? In 19, in the 50s or 60s, our population was about 46 million, right? UK's population was about 52 million. As of 2000, as of 2015, guess what? Our population is about what? 180, 190 million? Guess how much they are in the UK? 52 million. Sorry, wow. um, just, they just grew by an extra 11 million, sorry. Wow. So, and we grew by, you know, three times the number. So, again, we're growing exponentially without the economic growing and without productivity growing. So, we're actually sitting on a time bomb. It's estimated that by 2070, we'll probably be about, because we're adding 5 million uh, per year. That is, 5 million is the size of Liberia. So we, every year, we're adding Liberia. In the whole country, the whole imagine country. that. Yeah. And it, it's unfortunate that, you know, a lot of people are living in poverty. So it does seem that intercourse is a sort of escape route for many people. I'm not sure they keep that. having children I, on the one hand. On the other hand, it's more of knowledge. People do not have knowledge yeah, about, as to about how important control. it is for yeah. you to... Um, have birth control, and also we have traditions and religion yeah. that inhibiting a I lot. I think of that is the strong. Well. I think that's the stronger one. Um, the c cultural, cultural perceptions, and also religious perceptions about um, about um, childbearing. And the, the truth is that you're bringing children to the world, and you think that they'll be fed by you know by the grace of God. Whereas there's no, um, there's, the ecosystem doesn't really support you having as many kids as it should. You you have a, a guy that is earning less than. God knows what, maybe ten dollars a, a month. Who has four kids? You know, it is, it is, doesn't make any sense. How sure. are you going to cater to them education-wise? Are you going to cater to them health-wise? How are you going to be sure that each of them is going to have a stable income and a job to All take right. care of them? So basically, you are for the. I'm definitely control for. I'm definitely for, and a bit more actually. It, it's not just to say it. I think you, they have to, you have to create some kind of uh, a proper policy and an incentive about it because there's, there's a strong cultural bias in terms of having children. So you need to not just say, you need to actually have a very strong uh, argument, counter-argument um, um, if, you, if you want to, if you want to uh, nip it at the board. Very true indeed. Now here in Nigeria, we have a popular phrase, children are a gift from God. It's something that we hear all oh, the time. Uh, and now yeah. the federal government is trying to limit the number of children that every mother or every family can have. What's your take on this? Do you think that it's a good move by the government? Yeah. Or do you think that it's something that we should totally kick against or fight against? You've heard all that Yomi has said. Let us know what your thoughts are at Wazobia Max TV or on social media. Or you can let me know personally at Olive Emody. Thank you so much for joining us, Yomi. Yomi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having me. Right. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.